Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. And with Blueberry, the community that gives creators the power to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get a 30-day free trial by using promo code BLUEBERRY004. All right, so what do we have? What are you bringing to us today? What we're showing you today is uh, a live uh, demo of my colleague here, John Carpenter. John, what's up? Uh, wearing our smart socks. Smart for, socks, okay. They come with textile pressure sensors for gait analysis. So what you see here on the, on the screen is uh, what a stabilometric platform would do. A stabilometric platform is a clinical tool that actually doctors and physical therapists use to assess risk of falls. Uh, so we've built a system that allows us to do machine learning predictive analytics of risk of falls just wearing a pair of socks. So you're going to wear the pair of socks and you're going to walk how long? As long as you want. So the cool thing is real time. So we have three textile pressure sensors under the plantar area of each foot. And we have a nine axis IMU at your ankle bone level under each foot. So as you can see from the screen, you can see the center of pressure. Oh, so you wear these and then these are going to actually compensate for what you they, need? They just show your doctor what you're able to do. Okay, so at that point you're going to go to orthotics? Yeah, what we're going actually, we're announcing here at CES a partnership with Rejoint in Italy. Sure. They are a custom designed prosthetic uh, product. Is this an Italy? Are you from Italy? Is that where? I am from Italy originally. The company Sensoria Health is based in Seattle. Okay. So from there, you will, you will relay this data to the, your physical therapist or to your doctor remotely. So he can, well, he can do two things. He can assess your risk of falls, but he can also understand whether you are partially weight bearing. So during, uh, after surgery, after a total knee replacement surgery, which there are over a million of these oh, procedures yeah. this year. And, and growing. And growing, unfortunately for all of us, <laughs> right? Yeah, right. Uh, the doctor wants to know that uh, you're actually putting some weight Oh, okay. On the area where you had surgery. Is that the primary utilization of this? It's just one of the many. Now, we're working with the Michael J. Fox Foundation on park remotely monitoring Isn't Parkinson's that nice? patients. Yeah, it's very encouraging. Very encouraging. We can do a lot of good things. You know, I got to tell you, you know, I've been doing this now for two days straight. And uh, <laughs> it's remarkable, though, the, the, uh, the plethora of, uh, of devices, of medical devices that I'm seeing yeah. literally every 15 minutes that are really uh, changing people's lifestyles, easing pain, and just helping in the healing process, and this is certainly one of those devices. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. And the border between uh, uh, consumer technology and medical technology is kind of blurring, right? So if you think about it, we all, we are, we're well, all consumers. Well, not really. <laughs> you're, un you're unblurring that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you're absolutely right. And why should I go to a clinic to have my balance assessed? You sh I should be able to get that well, in real time when I'm at home, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. In my opinion, I would rather a technical analysis from something that's actually on my foot than having someone look at me right. and saying, eh, that's, I think I, you're this or that. I yeah. mean, I, I would trust the yeah. electronics, the sensors yeah. for accuracy yeah. and, and, and a zillion things. I mean, maybe yeah. the, the therapist uh, wasn't paying attention or is tired yeah. and just... Uh, yeah, we're removing the subjective uh, components. And, and uh, we're also removing the privacy issues of having cameras looking at people, right? It's all the time. Sure. I'm, I don't like to have cameras everywhere in my home, right? Yeah, so, well, you got, them, you got them here. That's uh, enough. Well, I'm okay. I'm okay right now, but, you know, right. maybe not in my bathroom. <laughs> right, right, exactly, exactly. Uh, but, you know, I think the analysis, uh, because of the scientific documentation, uh, is, is going to be more accurate. Yes. So this, this product that you have seen here has been clinically validated by University of Naples, Uni University Federico II of Naples, one of the oldest and most prestigious universities in the world. Anza, is University of Naples good? <laughs> yeah, Anza's from, from Palermo. Oh, wonderful. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's very encouraging. Um, we're also announcing here at the show a uh, smart knee brace that can collect a range of motion really? data from your knee using exactly the same electronics that you've seen. That is fascinating. And what about hips? That, that's next. You know, the, the, that's next. Yeah, we, hey, yeah. Between the knees and the hips, yep. you got it covered. Yeah, we, we think we can remotely monitor patients for 
most of these procedures. Now, yes. this would this isn't a device. Is it a device for the consumer, or this would be from the, a recommendation from the therapist or the or the doctor uh, in conjunction with 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 that? How does that work? Uh, it's you can buy the product for your loved ones if you want to. Uh, the best value for a patient would be under supervision of a doctor, of course. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, what would they request from the doctor? Well, the, as an example, the smart knee brace that I just talked about, uh, it's fully covered by insurance. There is an L code for this, that. This is absolutely just a no-brainer. I mean, if you were going through any kind of, uh, you know, knee surgery or, or injury, uh, I, I, for me, I didn't know this existed, but I, I, there's no way I wouldn't go with this. Yeah. Especially if, even if the insurance wasn't covering it, but what an added bonus uh, that you're going to get, I think, better diagnosis and uh, uh, better medical care in general by using these yeah. socks than I would yep. based on, not that I'm saying anything bad about the therapist, but it just seems it's a better way to go. Well, it's not just about a therapist. I think you're right. We, we don't know exactly what we're doing. We think we're doing things, but we may not be no, doing them right. of course. So let me give you an example. I can tell you exactly the number of repetitions of each exercise that your therapist told you to do. Wow. But I can also tell you the range of motion for each one of the repetitions. I can, I can ask you questions like, are you in pain? Are you using your opioids? So we can finally combine self-reported patient data with quantified yeah, data you can that, is verify enough, that, yeah. that is deep enough for your physical therapist now to know whether you, are, you need help See, or that's not, awesome. Right? How so, many reps did you do? I did five, and yeah. you, you didn't do any. Oh, wait yeah. a minute here. <laughs> yep, yeah. It keeps that's you huge, though. Yeah, it is. It is huge. And we have a, a great partner here in the United States called Focus Motion in Los Angeles. Right. Uh, they validated this system with Cleveland Clinic even more prestigious than University of Naples <laughs> in, in, in the U.S. So, I mean, it, it's very encouraging. It really is. Very now, <laughs> what about for the uh, person who, quote, has flat feet and, uh, you know, needs arch support and is constantly in pain with that? You're going to go to the doctor. They're going to do a mold around your foot, which I always thought was quasi-arbitrary because you're taking the outside of the foot, you're doing a mold, and the guy wants to lift it up, I don't know, a degree or two, and then you... You're paying, you know, 500 bucks for these orthotics. You put them on, they kill your feet, and then after a while, you get used to them. What about for utilization in that area? That's another great aspect, actually, great scenario. Um, so we can monitor with our socks uh, the quality of the orthotics. Uh, we can also see when the orthotics break down. You know, so at some point, they will really? not have the same efficiency. Do you, also, is that an application? Is yeah, that something it's they a, actually do? So it, uh, we have built a full SDK. That actually, it's a completely open SDK. So if people wanted to work with us on that scenario, wow. they can actually do that right now. Don't Absolutely. you think that's a great... I, a I, great I, look, we have areas of applicabilities that go from golf to basketball, from uh, Never thought falls of that. to Parkinson's. That's pretty interesting. So diabetic foot complications. I mean, that's why we had to build an SDK because people come to us saying, hey, we, I, you know, I'm, I have a domain uh, knowledge uh, expertise in, sure. uh, in, uh, in classical ballet. And uh, sure. I, yeah, we don't have data on how people... You know, Look so, at like a, ba so. a batter, a baseball batter. I mean, your feet, I mean, it's all yeah. in the, in the golf, floor. Golf swing, you know. Quarterback, I yep. mean... Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's ironic <laughs> that the foot is the ground foundation of a human oh, being. Absolutely. But we don't have any data really coming from the human foot, you know. Leonardo da Vinci used to say the human foot is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. But when it, you know, when it breaks down, there are so many Well, it's like anything parts. in your body. You it's know, you, you get up every day, you just take everything for, <laughs> for granted. granted. <laughs> I mean, you really do until you don't have it. I mean, you know, yep. uh, it's, that's, that's, that's a whole other story for another day. Yes, we both know. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so they're not, quote, unquote, available to the public, per se. No, the, everything I, I mentioned. But it has to be in coordination with the doctor. So you can purchase our socks on sensoriafitness.com right now. For distance running, they're available right now as an example. We have a full application, which is a mobile application that actually okay. talks to you in real time while you run. So it depends on the, on the scenario. Uh, the scenario that I just showed you uh, with uh, Cleveland Clinic and the remote patient monitoring is available through uh, Focus Motion right now. Uh, and the, the other scenarios that I mentioned, like Parkinson's and so forth, we're really hard at work. Uh, to That's make them available after a clinical trial with the Michael J. Fox Foundation in Australia, which should be finished by uh, Q2 of this year. Did you come up with this idea? Yes. You're a pretty smart guy. <laughs> no, I'm just a patient, I guess. <laughs> no, really, it's, it's, a, it's a, what a great innovation. Thank what you. a great innovation, Thank really. You. Thank you. Fascinating, fascinating. All right, well, once again, what's the website? Uh, so we have two websites, one on the sports and fitness, it's called sensoriafitness.com, the other one on healthcare scenarios, sensoriahealth.com. Okay, so I urge you to go on their site, at least I haven't seen what the socks look like, I'm sure they're just, just 
regular socks. We'll, sh we'll show them to you right now. He, Johnny's wearing them. All right, they look, <laughs> they look just like regular socks. I mean, there's nothing special. No, black okay. socks. Just look like socks, so, uh, <laughs> you know, no biggie there. So uh, thank you so much for coming on. That was really Thanks, uh, a lot of fun. It was and, a pleasure. Uh, a great product, a great product, and I wish you a lot of success with that. Thank, thank you. you so much. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Take thank care. You.